Hi guys, here we are going to study one of the applications of congruence, shuffling of cards. Shuffling of cards is not new to us, but what if we do it in an organized way? Let's say we are given a deck of even number of cards. We divide it into two and shuffle in such a way that the cards are interleaved or they are placed alternately. We call such a shuffling as modified perfect pharaoh shuffle. When we shuffle a pack of cards, a deck of cards, it is in a particular order. After shuffling, the order gets disturbed. So, here what we are going to study is, in how many shuffles does the deck of cards come back to its original order? If we start from a left hand, we call it in shuffling. If we start from a right hand, we call it out shuffling. If the deck of cards has m cards where m is even, then we can see that if m plus 1 is prime, the pack or the deck will come back to its original order after shuffling in m in shuffles. And if M minus 1 is prime, then M minus 2 out shuffles are required. In the game of cards, the player shuffles them to randomize. So, how many shuffles are needed to randomize a pack of cards? It's 1.5 log of M to the base 2. Let's say we have a pack of cards which has m even number of cards. Then we need n shuffles to bring the deck of cards back to its original order if 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m plus 1 if we are doing n shuffle and 2 to the power n congruent to 1 mod of m minus 1. When this is satisfied, then for out shuffles, then we need n out shuffles. Let's take the example of playing cards. We know that the deck has 52 cards. We need 52 in shuffles to bring the deck back to its original order because here 52 is the number of cards. For in shuffles, we use the first formula 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m plus 1, which gives us m plus 1 as 53. 53 is prime. So, using Euler's theorem, n will become 52. We can also use Euler's theorem as GCD of 2 and 53 is 1. But we need 8 out shuffles as 2 to the power 8 is congruent to 1 mod of 51. We've used a second formula for this. One definition. The smallest power of any integer which gives us congruence 1 mod of the modulus is known as the order. Here because our integer is 2, if n is the smallest power such that 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m plus 1, then we will say n is the order of 2 mod of m plus 1. And if n is the smallest power of 2 such that 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m minus 1, then n is called the order of 2 mod of m minus 1. If n is the order, then after every n shuffles, the pack of cards will come back to its original order. Let's see the process and how do we get the formula. When we in shuffle, we are taking here as a particular case in shuffle. The, when we in shuffle, the card in the first position goes to second position. The card in the second position goes to fourth position. 
the card in the third position goes to sixth. The card in fourth, fifth, sixth positions will also move to some other position which we'll just see. Now, in this you can see that each one of them is a multiple of two. So the card in position x goes to the position 2x. In the second in shuffle, the card in the position x goes to 2 square x position. In the third in shuffle, the card in position x goes to 2 to the power 3 x position. And in the nth in shuffle, the card in the position x goes to 2 to the power n x position. So, we have 2 to the power n x is congruent to x mod of m plus 1, which gives us the formula 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m minus 1. Same way we find the formula for out shuffles also. Let's take an example. If we are given a deck of 6 cards, which are all numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we divide the deck into 2 and we shuffle the cards using in shuffle. Then the left hand will have the cards 1, 2, 3 and the right hand will have the cards 4, 5, 6. Now we start shuffling. The first card which falls is numbered 3 because that is the last card from a left hand side. Then we release the card from a right hand side, the last card which is 6. We come back to the left hand, we will drop the last card which is 2. Then we come back to a right hand and drop the card which is, we see that that card will be 5. Then we drop the card from left hand which is 1 and from the right last card will be 4 which falls on the top. The original order was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the order after first shuffle becomes, in shuffle becomes 4, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3. We see the card which was in position 1 goes to position 2. The card which was in second position goes to fourth position. The card in the third position goes to sixth position. And similarly, the card which was in the fourth position is first now. Why does that happen? We will see. The card in the fifth position goes to second position and the card in sixth position goes to fifth position. Let's see. We see that the card in the first position, if we take our position to be here, 2 into 1 uh, is equal to 2 and that is congruent to 2 mod of m plus 1. Our m was 6 because we had a pack of 6 cards. So, 2 into 1 is congruent to 2 mod 7. So, the card in first position is going to the second position. The card in the second position goes to fourth because 2 into 2. All these 2's here and here, they are the multiple. The second number which we have taken is showing our positions. So, the card in the second position is going to fourth because 2 into 2 is 4. The card in the third position will be 2 into 3 which is 6. So, the card in the third position goes to sixth position. Come to the card in the fourth position. Now, the card in the fourth position will go to 2 into 4 which is 8. As 8 is congruent to 1 mod of 7, it will go to the first position. And the card in the fifth position goes to third position because 2 into 5 is 10 which is congruent to 3 mod of 7. Lastly, the card in 6th position goes to 5th because 2 into 6 is 12 and 12 is congruent to 5 mod of 7. Here every card moved from position x to position 2x. 
In the second in shuffle, the card in position x will move to 2 square x. That is how we go on. Here you can see that if we take 3 as our n, then 2 to the power 3 we know is 8. 8 will be congruent to 1 mod of 7. So 3 in shuffles are required to bring the pack back to its original order. Let's see using some illustration. Now, let's understand what are in shuffles. So, you are given a deck of six cards. One, two, three, four, four, five and six. These are six cards in a deck of cards. They are numbered as this. And the order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will divide the deck into two. Hold the cards, three cards in left hand and three cards in the right hand. And we will start doing the modified perfect pharaoh shuffle. So in that, in in shuffle, we will drop the last card from the left hand, then the card from the right hand last card, then the last card from here, then from the right hand, from the left and right. We see that in the first in shuffle, it has been jumbled and the order of the cards is 4, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3. Now, we'll pick these three and keep them in our left hand and the other three we keep in the right hand. We repeat the process in a second shuffle. So here we place the last card 5 then from the right hand 3 comes then from the left hand 1 then 6 then 4 and then 2. Now the order of cards is 2 4 6 1 3 and 5. So, in the third shuffle, we are going to again keep the three cards in our left hand and these three in the right. So, on doing the third shuffle, we drop from the left hand, we drop six, from the right we drop five, then four, then three, then two and one. You can see that after three in shuffles, the pack is back to its original order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is known as your modified perfect pharaoh shuffle. Let's say we want to find how many in shuffles and out shuffles are required to bring the deck of cards back to its original order. If the deck has 22 cards and in the second example it has 34 cards. For part A, if we are using in shuffle, we need to find the value of n such that 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of m plus 1. m is given to be 22, so m plus 1 becomes 23. We can see that as 23 is prime, we can use Fermer's little theorem and n value will be 22. We need 22 in shuffles to bring the deck of cards back to its original order. If you are using out shuffles, then the second formula should be satisfied. Here, m was 22, so m minus 1 becomes 21. And as 21 is not prime, we can neither use Fermer's little theorem or Euler's. In that case, we will check the powers of 2. You can see 2 to the power 6 will be congruent to 1 more 26. So 6 out shuffles will bring the deck back to its original order. For second part, where we were given 34 cards, we have to find n such that 2 to the power n is congruent to 1 mod of 35 because here m was 20 uh, was 34 
So m plus 1 is 35. Again 35 is not prime. So we have to check the powers of 2. And we can see that 2 to the power 24 gives us congruence to 1 mod of 35. So 24 in shuffles are required to bring the deck back to its original order. What if we are doing out shuffles? Then in that case m minus 1 will become 33 and n which satisfies this is 10 because 33 is not prime. We will use powers of 2 and see 2 to the power n becomes congruent to 1 mod of 33. But is 10 the only power which satisfies this? No. If we square both the sides of the congruence, we will see that 2 to the power 20 is congruent to 1 mod of 33. If we raise both the sides to the power 3, we will see 2 to the power 30 will be congruent to 1. Now that means that the smallest power which satisfies the, satisfied the congruence was 10. So after every 10 shuffles, the deck will keep coming back to its original order. And n is your order of 2 mod of 33. Thank you for watching.